Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys we got some multiverse news or should I just say chatting with Tony because oh my god Tony is just blessing us with all these news just by answering tweets and we actually got some beta news that's going to be in this video so stay tuned and we're going to get straight into the video guys. Uh, the first question we have is by my boy, boy Domino and he pretty much asks is will there be a creative mode to make maps and other kind of content in the game? Tony says we'll have to see since we are a service game we can get to this feature over time if enough players wants it so there you go guys if you want something like that to create um maps and other stuff or if you want to be able to do that stuff in customs all you gotta do is request it down the line and I don't see this happening on release or anytime soon but definitely down the line if people request it like I said they'll work on it and put it into the game and the next question is not really a question but what I noticed when Tony was just talking with the community and pretty much Tony was um, posting about Steven World, um, Steven Universe, like a little clip. And, you know, he was just talking, you know, with the fans and community and he slipped this one out a little bit, not confirming this character, but definitely probably in the thought process of wanting to do it. And pretty much what he said is the whip on Amethyst would be really cool to design for combat. Mm. Again, not confirming that she'll be in the game, but, you know. He wouldn't mind designing that and making it a thing if, you know, the right things and come right in line. But, you know, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, the next question we have is my boy, Ralph Laser. And he pretty much asked Tony, will there be an exclusive skin or something for playing the beta? Tony said, we'll try to do something to reward players for testing. Mm -mm -mm. Don't we love exclusivity? Let's go, Tony. Uh, let's go to the next question. The next question is by yours truly and pretty much I asked him will they be doing any more original characters like Rain Dog and it said it's possible but we'll see. Now, I got some mixed feelings about this on Reddit on Discord people not really wanting more um, original characters if it's just for the fact that this game is supposed to be grabbing a lot of characters are from a whole bunch of franchises and stuff and don't get me wrong they definitely should but I definitely want to see more original characters because one one this game is going to have a lore Hopefully it has a storyline mode, even sto even if you have to like pay for it. You know, I would definitely pay for like a ten twenty dollar storyline with cosmetics that you earn during while playing it because you know I think it would just be a cool feature, especially for the casuals and stuff. And then hello, it's a storyline. I would like to see more characters that are in Rain Dog's universe or how whatever that cosmic is. Then you know. He's the only thing that has ever existed there, plus the the nothing, and then all these you know characters coming. You know, he definitely has to have some friends or people in his universe, and it doesn't have to be nothing crazy, you know. Um, but I think a year or maybe even two years down the line, there should definitely be five, maybe even six original characters in this game, and I think that would be solid. But let's move on to the next. one. Uh, the next question we have was my, from my boy Blackjack, and he pretty much asked Tony, "Will there be a rank assist implied already?" Or will it be the normal bronze um, diamond? Or will they have their own ranking system? And Tony pretty much said, we are still working out on the details. And I love that. I love that. Or we could assume that it's not going to be like a basic system like every other game or what most games do. And they're actually going to put some thought and iron out this ranking system. So it's actually fun and enjoyable. And, you know, still grindy, I hope. Because, you know, that's the point of ranking. The rank system is supposed to be on the little sweatier side, you know. If you don't want to sweat, you play casually, you know. You just play quick matches, load up, fight people. Well, rank, I know a lot of people has mixed feelings about that, but the point of rank is to be a little competitive, to be a little sweaty. So, you know, I'm happy to hear that they're still working on the details and it's not, you know, one, two, three basic thing. Let's move on. Uh, next question is from my boy Bad. And he pretty much um, asked Tony how much will the battle pass um, be. And he said they haven't really, you know, got the specifics down pretty much. And, you know, you're able to buy and play the game without buying the battle pass. And to pretty much sum it up, because we already, we know the answer and we don't know the answer. The battle pass most likely will range between 10 to $20, guys. Usually battle passes are like 10 15 so, you know, a very basic question. I feel like almost all games do. So the, the highest you should expect to pay for a battle pass is maybe 20 bucks, and that's even a stretch. But then again, you don't know what cosmetics, announcers, and all this crazy stuff they might have in a battle pass and how big the battle pass will be. You never know. And moving on, as our next question by my name, Banjo, and he pretty much asked Tony, will there be a tag team mechanic? And Tony says, we're focusing on 2v2s, but we could add 
a tag team it will require some thought and some dev resources but we'll see and again i think this is just like how the last one what he said was that if the players request it then they're down to provide it and you know again this is something that we want to see down the line if it's a high demand that people want it i'm pretty sure tony and the team is definitely going to put it down for us let's move on next question we have is my boy duke and he asks can i ask you a question will multiverses have a story mode or adventure time he said well, all right we're not prepared to reveal this yet thank you i think i talked about this before but you know i just want to do a quick rundown on it you know i definitely think this game needs a storyline or story mode and i don't think i've ever seen a free-to-play game have a story mode so i wouldn't be surprised if you have to pay for it but like i said if they do have like some cool cosmetics that you earn while playing through it i think it'll be totally worth it you know you you get a cool storyline cool cinematics maybe and you know you get cosmetics you know for paying another what 10 15 dollars i think that's amazing and guys i know a lot of people say oh but it's just money grab money this and this and that guys it is a free to play game they have to make money somehow you know the, the whole game can't be free everything cannot be given for you for free and i just had to throw my personal feelings on that because you know I, I just see a lot of people just want everything to be free in game and it's just like how do you expect games to be made and kept alive if they're not making money off of it you know but let's move on uh next question is my boy tack and he pretty much asks um tony will there be console play tests um for you on multi universes and he said yes we'll be testing on console at some point so this could possibly mean that the next play test will have consoles finally or the one following should have um console testing because you know how he said it um but we'll have to see when the time comes with that you know uh moving on next question is my boy sean and he pretty much asks whether he like records and status and all that stuff damage ko's and all that stuff etc be recorded um into ko um ko <laughs> into multiverses and he said we'll have a stat tracker in some form but haven't revealed yet thanks for the question so bam they're already working on it they already have something set it's just not really revealed and how it's gonna work and how it's gonna look but i glad to hear that you know don't get me wrong i love the third party like you know people that do the apis and you know have everything stats wise but i always love to see leaderboards and stuff like that in game because it just makes it one less step you know going out of my way of like going on a website looking it up looking my name up when i could just i'm already in the game and i could just click something and be like oh i could see this da 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 oh i'm fighting this person before we get into the match it shows us the record between each other you know i love that stuff and stuff man it just makes it more um you know friendly i forgot the word but pretty much it it just makes it look nicer and cleaner um in game and let's move it on we have a question my boy vando shout out to vando he's going crazy for the community helping everybody out um on everything and pretty much he asked a, um, a nice really good question is about um release patch notes and balances um on multiverses and tony said we'll be sure to communicate um notes and bus updates somehow not sure the best way of all formats yet and that's amazing man there's a lot of games that <clears throat> fortnite ah don't like show their patch notes and it's kind of crazy to me it's like why would you want us just to find it randomly and not know like when you want us to know what changes you've made to the game so we can see it and experience it ourselves then randomly run into it i don't know people have different thought um, processes on that uh next question we have always my boy izzy and he pretty much um asks that um uh, did they have like a ballpark on how many characters they want have on release also is there an end goal um they like to reach again i'm pretty sure i talked about this but i'm not fully sure or fully remember so i'm just gonna you know bring it up real quick again and what tony pretty much said is for the uh, foreseeable future we'll make as many we can while maintaining um uniqueness and authenticity i don't think there should be a limit as long as we maintain quality and i think i love that you know i don't think there should ever be a limit on making fighters into a game but definitely i'm pretty sure what the term is what co um echo fighters which they fight similar they look like they, they pretty much like have the same move sets um yeah i'm definitely down with that with tony about adding as much characters but as long as they don't feel like another character so easily you know definitely there's going to be some move sets that might be the same because there's only so much a character could do differently from someone else when it comes to fighting but you know in their specials and their you know holds and all that crazy stuff that's in the game 
Um, definitely always could be unique. And I'm happy that Tony's doing stuff like that and his team, of course. Uh, next question we have is a double question, pretty much our ending questions. And it's pretty much asking, when can we expect multiverses? What's up with the updates on um you know multiverses and pretty much tony had two responses to this and the first one which was like an earlier one is pretty much he said we we're heads down working on improvements and balance chases when we feel we are in a good spot we'll announce another play test and i'm not sure oh that's about the whole twitter thing and then his second response a little more recent he said we are still learning a lot we'll be addressing that and putting out a new test build so we can hopefully learn more we are doing this and asking for patience because we want to make a great game that players love. Thanks for the question. And I am so happy to hear this. Even though your boy is crying and craving and just wants to play this game, I am happily fine with waiting for a solid game. Nothing rushed, nothing half-baked. <clears throat> Nick's are so oh my god, my throat. But I'm just happy to hear that, you know, the devs are actually taking their time with this even though a lot of us are impatient about this i'm just happy they're not just throwing oh yeah here's some information oh here's this here's that i'm happy that they're taking their time and actually trying to make this game solid from the jump where there barely has to be any fixes when the game actually releases because guess what there's gonna be more play tests, so that means there's gonna be more input and more feedback from players already playing the game helping them create the best game that they can on launch and i love that man and i can't wait to see the final product when the game releases that's it for the video guys leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments also first time ever watching my videos don't forget the subscribe button guys and there's two discords that you should definitely join about multiverses one for the comp core one for the community and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got another five on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find